Oh my god, you will not believe what I stumbled up on. So, I was going down my timeline and stuff, and literally, this video says confronting the girl who shot me in the face. This video is kind of old though, it's a Dr. Phil video, but I'm like, what? What the fuck happened? So, I wanted to kind of react to this to see what the hell's going on. Um, you guys can kind of follow with me and I'll kind of give my closing thoughts at the end of this video. Um, probably throughout and stuff too. Um, I'll chop it up too because I know this is a Dr. Phil video so this shit's about to get like dumb copyrighted right now. So um, I'll just show you snippets of what's going on and I'll explain to you the situation and what you guys would do in a situation like that. So let's get into the video. Boom. And before we get started, obviously, do the, do the obvious. Hook, 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 hook me up real quick, alright? Hook me up real quick. Like this video. Comment down below. Subscribe. Let's get it. <laughs> All right. Ooh, let's uh, fix this real quick. Remind me tomorrow, shit, and post another guy. All right, let's turn this shit up. I don't be afraid of you anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry. I don't want to be afraid of you anymore. Yeah, because I never meant to hurt you. I promise. It was an accident. I didn't even know. So sorry. I don't want to see you anymore. I'm like, get ready for that gun. Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. Tell her what you thought about it. Tell her what your experience is like. What happened? <clears throat> what happened? I had two children. And when both children started at school, they had to hear, your mama's ugly. Your mama's a monster. Her whole jaw is gone. I have heard that I shouldn't go out in public looking like this. I've got so many names on the stair that every day. Fuck. Every day. My life is surgeries. That's all I do. Doctor's appointments, doctor's appointments. I'm still not done. There's times I'm so depressed I can't leave my house. And I can't take care of my kids. Yo, what the hell? She shot the other chick in the face. And she's just her. sitting here like... I've heard you her. You don't think about her all these years? You don't think about her? I've thought about her. But at the same don't. time... No, I haven't. I'm going to have to I've pause this real quick. Yo, this girl right here that I just paused on real quick, yo. Like, she's a goofy. Like, she's a goofy. Like, what, what the fuck? She shot this girl in the face. And it doesn't seem like she cares at all. Like, at all. Whatever happened, whatever the situation is, I have no idea. Oh, well, it's fading in right now. It says, uh, Jerry admits she shot clerk in the face during robbery. So she tried to rob a bank, um, and uh, from what it seems like, and shot the clerk in the face. But it doesn't seem like she cares. And I'm kind of curious as to how she even wound up on the Dr. Phil show. I mean, probably just for clout, like, honestly, because she doesn't seem like she cares. This other lady is, like, literally trying to find some closure because obviously she's lived like a pretty rough life after what happened to her but the person who did it the culprit she doesn't give a shit doesn't look like she cares at all i want to see how this is going to end but that's kind of unfortunate my life and i don't mean to say it so i don't mean for it to sound like that or however you feel but i do think about you from time to time from time to time, time man just don't talk for forgiveness and i'm so sorry that that happened bro you know i'm so so sorry you didn't have to do it i didn't i, I didn't mean to it was a hair trigger gun he it, the, the gun only took one you didn't bullet. have to have the gun in your hand i didn't have to i was easily misled as a child i apologize i thank god that you're still alive you didn't have you to were set shot it in the face. face huh you didn't have to set it on my face. i didn't set it on your face i remember pulling the gun out and asking for the money and i remember you put the money in a brown bag and at that point when I was reaching for the money, the gun went off. That's what I remember. Okay, but here's here's the thing. So I didn't ever put a gun in your face. The gun had to have been setting on my face because it was a buckshot and it exploded outwards. Had, the doctor said, had the gun been an inch further back, you would have taken off my whole face. 
had you been that far back, you would have blown my whole head off. So it was setting on my face. Well, I don't remember that now. Okay, like I said, I apologize. She's probably saying that to you cover her in that court. That happened to her, mm-hmm. or do you apologize for your role in this? Yeah, I've, I've already done my time, and I do apologize for my role in this. We got a lifetime. I understand. I thank God she's still alive to have a lifetime. God is good. God is good. You have to forgive. You have to be able to forgive to move forward. Whoa, hold the fuck up, yo. I I couldn't do a Dr. Phil interview like this. I would have stole off of her a long time ago, to be honest. I'm just being real. Like, I can't, I could not do that. Like, somebody shot me in the face and talking to me crazy like that? Nope, 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 nope. First of all, she's like, oh, ask God for forgiveness, blah, blah, blah. No. Somebody has had their entire life ruined because of a choice that this chick made. Fuck that shit, yo. This is the goofiest shit I've ever seen. You guys can forgive me. I don't think you guys will be able to move on. I have forgiven myself. That's why I'm able to move on. I haven't had a nervous breakdown, lost my mind or anything. Because it hasn't happened to you. Oh, God. (sighs) <sighs> guys, well, this is what fuckery looks like. Basically, closing thoughts is the culprit who did it. I think her name is Jesse or Jerry or whatever her fucking name is. She is a goofy. Like, she showed up. I thought she would be a lot more remorseful than what she was. I mean, come on. You shot somebody in the fucking face. Like, you should be, you should humble yourself. Let the person speak. Like, you know, be completely remorseful for what you did. You know, that's bullshit first of all you shouldn't have been robbing banks to begin with let alone shooting people carrying a gun in a bank from the jump so there was already a big plethora of fuckery but you know what's done is done but still like to be that you know honestly i mean you can tell me if i'm wrong in the comment section but i feel like she was definitely like disrespectful very dismissive if i should if if i could like man like if i say that i literally just talked about it like i'm in a video like about you know sensitivity and stuff like that but yo, this is like a different situation. She got her whole face blown off, dude. Like her whole lower half of her face was blown off. And I'm pretty sure if you paid attention to the video, um, and I, I'm linking it down below because I, I can't post the whole thing. But um, she said, like the lady, the, the lady was saying that um, had the had like the chick that blew her face off been like even a little bit further away from her, she could have blown her whole head off. Her whole head off. So. The chick that was talking about, oh yeah, I'm sorry, like, you know, I didn't mean to shoot you in the face, like, I was actually, like, reaching for the money and I blew your face off. She she knows what she really did, but I'm pretty sure she, she like, between her and her lawyer, there's certain things that she can and can't say. Because if there's new um, evidence that shows up, in the, like, or even, like, an admission to something new on live television, that can be admissible in court. And I'm pretty sure it won't be double jeopardy, it'll be a new case and stuff that'll open up and she's apparently she's already done her time quote unquote obviously not enough because she's on you know national television talking about some oh i'm sorry it's just it's unfortunate man i mean what would you guys do in a situation like this i'm curious what would you guys do comment it down below i'm going to read your comments and we'll have a a big discussion in the comment section man because i honestly could not sit in front of a person that did that to me i would probably jump across the fucking room and try to fight them like honestly like there's no forgiveness there for me nah not at all i mean some people have better hearts than i do most people do but i could not forgive somebody that did this for i I couldn't forgive somebody that did that and then came back to confront me and then showed no no remorse and said to get over it then she had the audacity to say that she's she doesn't have any nightmares at night she doesn't stress about what she did and blah 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 to the victim and the victim's like well i do because i'm the victim like you whatever you did affected my life like that shit's so tr- oh man oh well what, what she's gonna get what's coming to her man that's all i'm gonna say that's crazy that's fucking crazy and it's a very like honestly disgusting that um somebody like that can just go roaming around the world and just think that it's cool to just do whatever the fuck you want and like you know not really pay your dues to be honest but you know to the victim man i feel like hopefully she's doing a whole lot better because going through something like that she said she told she said too that she's had countless surgeries and stuff and i guess from what i can gather from the story um this girl walked into a bank robbed the bank the clerk which is the one that was like the victim and stuff um, was loading money into a brown bag 
and the lady pulls the trigger like she what it sounded like is she rested the shotgun or the buckshot on her fucking chin and as she was going to reach to put the money in the bag she blew her whole like lower jaw off nuts what would you guys do in a situation like that what would you do um that's it for me if you guys have any other videos you'd like me to react to and all that good stuff go ahead and comment them down below but until next time guys take care peace